Wastelanders and welcome to a tutorial video on how to repair buildings and uh, get started on settlements basically. Uh, so here we are at Jamaica Plains uh, as I'm stepping all over a skeleton right there. Uh, yes we are at Jamaica Plains and we are going to repair the uh, Jamaica Plains Town Hall. Now in order to do this um, it's going to be best if you're on PC or Xbox. Uh, this is kind of possible on the PlayStation. I have done it. Um, it just doesn't look as nice on the PlayStation. Uh, I will put a link below to my uh, previous uh, Jamaica Plains build with the PlayStation where I did attempt a repair. Um, and it looks okay, but it's not going to look as good as we're going to get uh, with this one. So you're going to need the following mods in order to do this. Uh, you're going to need scrap everything. Scrap, which is s.c.r.a.p. I'm going to be putting everything up here on the screen, as you can see right now, so that uh, it's quite easier for you to see. Uh, and I will also be linking all the different mods uh, in the description. Uh, the next mod you're going to need is scrap all the things. And the last one, uh, well, second to last one is snappy house kit, also known as snappy builds and place everywhere. Um, and in the case for those of you on the PlayStation, it's probably going to be the Place Anywhere tool. Uh, as if you've watched my channel before, you know I've used that a lot when I was on the PlayStation. So uh, let's go get into this. So the reason you're going to need the three different scrapping mods is because all of them provide um, different abilities, basically. Some of them um, we're only going to allow you to scrap maybe two-thirds of things, maybe three-quarters, etc. And then others will give you the ability to scrap things that you normally wouldn't. Um, the three of these combined, as you can see, are quite powerful. Like We can get rid of entire roads, um, giant rubble piles, even entire whole buildings, uh, sometimes in one whole shot. It really just depends on how they were put into the game. Like this one, for example, here. As you can see, we can scrap the entire building if we want to. Um, in this case, uh, we don't want to. We just want to do some repairs. So if we come up to here, as you can see, we can actually just scrap out uh, certain sections and certain broken sections so that we can get rid of these holes. So, uh, my menu might look a little different than yours because I have so many different mods installed as well as um, menu helpers, etc., so on and so forth. So for now, we're just going to get rid of this little section right here. Now if we go into snappy builds, we have all these different types of um, buildings, for lack of a better word, that we can build using snappy builds. Uh, and inside some of them are so many different variations of those types of builds. Uh, for this instance, we're going to be using mostly shell kit. So if we come into shell kit, we have our standard brick walls here, which as you can see, will actually snap right into place and be a perfect match. But we might want to have uh, a window there. So instead of just using a standard like shared wall part, we can go into all these different types of versions of the walls to put in whatever we think uh, might fit. So for this one, we're just going to go straight into the classic one and we're going for the orange brick look. And let's say we want to put a window up in here. So if we can learn how to walk. Boom, now we have a window in place. So right here we have a double window. We're going to come back in here. Now we have our double window replaced. And as you can see, we can start piecing this whole thing back together and actually get rid of all these uh, nasty broken windows and whatnot to start repairing this place to actually make it look uh, really, really nice. And this will um, definitely help your settlement stand out and look uh, its best if that's the type of look you want to go for. Sometimes you might want to go for something that looks, you know, awful and fallen apart and that's perfectly fine and other times like me uh, what I like to do is repair things to bring them back to the way that they look um, you know pre-war basically so uh, place everywhere how is that going to help us there's going to be instances where you're trying to put something in place and you simply can't because there might be too much stuff in the way um, and that's where your hotkeys are going to come into play. So let's say, like, you know, we're trying to put a wall in here, and if you see I'm trying to push down and I can't, uh, if I hit the F2 key, that takes away the surface snap so that I can actually go in through walls and floors and whatnot, and that'll give you greater ability to repair things and 
get things looking the exact way you want them to. Uh, sometimes it might be a wall that's blocking you, sometimes it might be physical objects like these uh, filing cabinets and whatnot. So, back to the scrapping mods again. As you can see, we have uh, highlighted Ghoul Ambush. Um, that is something that you cannot see. It's an invisible object that's put there by Bethesda when they're building these places. And you have to kind of be careful. Sometimes you can uh, scrap these things and not have any issues, and other times you can scrap them and kind of mess things up. Uh, in this case, you know, the ambushes, I've deleted a million of them and never had any problems. And sometimes, too, those are going to block you from getting to things that you want to block. So let's say you got rid of that. Boom, now there's this trash on the floor that I can get rid of. And I can actually get rid of this dead ghoul himself. And uh, if you happen to have in anything in his uh, inventory, caps and hairbrush, a cue ball, whatever, uh, that's going to go right into your workshop. So here's another ghoul ambush. We're going to get rid of that. Now we can get rid of the debris. And boom, as you can see, we can get rid of pretty much everything to make this as nice looking as we possibly want. Now sometimes you're going to see things like this on the ground that... Uh, it might look like you're about to scrap it, but you're not. You're actually going to get rid of this whole entire wood floor, so you got to be really careful and go around so that you see something like this so that you can get rid of that little bit of scrap right there. Now, uh, one of the neat things, too, about things like this is that you can actually pick this guy up and straighten it out. Once you pick it up, it acts just like a normal object that you would pull from your inventory as well as the doors here. And uh, the only downside here as you can see is these will not snap into each other um, so most of the time I just end up getting rid of them um, just because they won't snap e into each other like you want them to uh, as you can see I was able to finally get to that debris pile there to get rid of all this kind of stuff uh, same thing with the painting here you can select that and straighten it out and for now we're just going to go ahead and, and delete things like that you can actually get rid of all this type of stuff in here and we're going to end up with uh, this water here. Now, with uh, all these different scrapping mods, we can actually get rid of that. Um, you can even pick it up and adjust it if you wanted to, to do all kinds of funky things. But in our case, we don't need the water, so boom, we're going to get rid of it. And that's going to come in handy later when we want to repair this floor section. So right now, let's go ahead and continue getting rid of all of our debris here as fast as we possibly can. Um, when you build as many settlements as I do, you can get rid of some of this stuff uh, fairly quickly. So, okay, now we've cleared out this whole section more or less, and we want to try and match that floor. So we're going to be staying here in Snappy Builds, uh, a.k.a. Snappy House Kit, and we're going to be going over to the Small Town... Uh, house kit, small town, etc. And we're going to be looking at the different floors that we have here. We have the large ones, which we're not really going to be using at the moment. And then we have uh, the regular wood floor planks. As you can see, they snap into place. Not quite the look we're going for, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one. And let's go over to maybe... Uh, let's see... Interior build kits. Um, and probably the wood section, maybe even the clean one. Uh, let's see if we can find some wood floors that match here. A little bit better, but as you can see, these are worn, so we don't want the clean look. So we're going to go back into the vanilla section, and we're going to try this floor here. And there you go. Now we have the matching floor. And just like any other floor, you can rotate it to change any which direction you want to. And as you can see now, we are starting to get this place uh, a little bit rebuilt, slowly but surely. Now one thing that I do that... Uh, helps me out um, when I'm trying to rebuild a building like this is I want to try and keep the original architecture so don't go around and just start willy-nilly erasing all the walls and then you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna be like crap where is this supposed to go where is that supposed to go so what I will do is I will come in and delete section by section and then come in and replace the walls exactly where they were now there's still going to be things that unfortunately you cannot get rid of, like these stupid sideways chairs. Um, despite the fact that you might have ten different scrapping mods, you're still going to find things like this that uh, you just can't get rid of. At least I've never been able to. So what I do in a case like that is I will put uh, some sort of decoration on top of it. Like I might put a couch here that will cover that and hide it. 
Okay, so now we are still staying in snappy builds. Like I said, this is going to be your little saving grace that's going to help you rebuild entire buildings like this. We're going to come all the way over here into interior walls, and because we're dealing with, um, you know, nasty-looking plaster, we're just going to kind of leave it as is, and as you can see, boom, it snaps right into place. Nice, clean corners as well, and we've rebuilt that wall. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and take out these studs, which we don't need. We have another open section. And eventually we'll try to snap this in place, see if we can get it into place. And sometimes it doesn't. Um, it's just one of those things that's just going to bug the heck out of you. Because um, sometimes these things will go into place easily, and other times they won't. So that's where another hotkey is going to come into play here for place everywhere. We're going to hit F1. And F1 unlocks or turns off the object snapping so that we can go ahead and just place this in place just by hand and eyeball it. Sometimes, uh, fortunately, that's what you have to do um, just because these walls will not lock into place like you want. So, we're going to go ahead in and come out and get rid of all of this junk here. And uh, we have another ghoul ambush. We can go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that door. And now we want something with an actual door itself. So we're going to go ahead and turn the snap back on, and we have our door snapped into place, and now we have completed a room. And so that's what uh, you basically do, is just go piece by piece and just kind of eliminate them and start snapping them back into place to recreate this building. Uh, let's see, do we need a door here? We do not, because there is one there, so we'll go right back to the blank one, and let's see if we can get this to snap into place. And uh, unfortunately, it's going to be just as difficult as the other one. So, for time saving, we'll just use F1 real fast and drop it into place kind of loosely and call it a day for that one. Now, same thing for up here. We have all these different floors that uh, we need to replace and whatnot. So, um, what I will usually do instead of going in like I've been showing and replacing little bit by little bit is I will get rid of all of this debris to give me a nice big... Uh, opening space so that I don't have all these things to trip over so I can get rid of everything all in one shot um, and make things a little bit easier for you to build with. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of that ghoul, all this garbage, and again... Oh, no, we can actually get rid of this counter, can we? No, we can't. That's a false uh, highlight. I really uh, do hate that. Um, you're going to see that from time to time. It's going to look like you can get rid of it, but when you start hitting the button to get rid of it, you can't do anything. And unfortunately, you can't pick it up either. So that's going to be one of those things, too, that when you go to uh, get rid of this type of thing and do repairs, um, you got to find a way to, to kind of hide that um, and get rid of these cables. We don't really need it. And uh, you can even actually scrap safes, and it's a good way to get into a safe without uh, having to have really high uh, lock-picking skills because you can just scrap it and then whatever was in the inventory is going to go right into your workshop. And so here's another chair that uh, unfortunately we cannot get rid of. So, now that we have that all done, uh, as we can see that this building actually has a bump out coming up top. So yes, I'm going to be kind of jumping around a little bit here, so uh, try to stick with me. So now we have, uh, as we can see here, this is actually a roof section. So we're going to get rid of that one, and we can actually pull up whole sections of roof here. Now, as you can see, it's not really going to snap into place. Oh, maybe it will if I turn the snap back on. Uh, nope. And we fall. Uh, make sure when you're doing this type of stuff that uh, you do not have any kind of fall damage, because that uh, can totally ruin your day. So let's see if we take that. There we go. So now we got our roof section, and sometimes you actually have to get rid of little bits like this in order to make this work. Um, so we'll get rid of that, and we'll pop another roof section in. And as we can see, um, from the layout of the building, that uh, this is about as far up as the roof went. Now we have a section here that we can't really tell what the original build design was, if it went all the way up, or if this was roof section. So for now, we're actually just going to put a roof here. But we can see from here that we actually did have uh, this come out this way. So let's go ahead and get rid of that little corner. And again, we're staying uh, here in Shell Kit in Snappy Builds. And we're going to go with our classic shell and make sure that we're sticking with our color. And we actually do have a nice little corner piece. Let's see if we can get this guy to snap into place. Uh, 
we can, but not in the direction that we really wanted to. So, uh, in order to help fight things like that, we're just going to do it piece by piece. And, of course, this is going to give you a little bit of an issue because of the way the system works here. So, if we put this little roof section here for now, when we go to put that in place, boom, now it's an outside wall the way it should be. Um, even though this is a roof piece, this is just the way that the game is going to react sometimes. Uh, just because of the way Bethesda put this whole thing together. and uh, So there we go. Now we have our little section here. We can try to continue it this way. Now you can see we have this corner here. It's this unsightly corner that does not look good. Same thing over here. So if we come down here to our shared wall parts, we're going to stick with uh, the nasty falling apart plaster because we actually do have a clean version which uh, you could actually replace this whole thing piece by piece with all clean pieces if you want to. Um, or there's another way to do it so that you don't have to replace the entire building, which I'll showcase in a little bit. So now we have these nice little corner pieces that uh, snap into place and blend in uh, quite nicely so that you get these little clean corners there. And let's see, let's go back into here. And so something like this is kind of left into your imagination as to whether or not you have windows or double windows or this is all closed off because um, there isn't really anything here for us to look at to try to tell like what was here before. Um, so it's kind of artistic liberties for something like this. Okay, so now we have all of that done. Now if we come down over here and we look up there, we have that nice little decorative thing that uh, looks like it went around the entire building. But, uh, of course, most of that is gone. So, we're going to replace some of that. So, let's go ahead and, just because of the OCD, we're going to clean up some of the, the debris here. And now, if you look, you can actually highlight these pieces and do stuff with them if you wanted to. In our case, we don't really need to, except for that little corner piece. So let's uh, stick with our shell kit here. Go all the way back over to the roof sections and ledges, and sometimes you have the uh, perfect one meeting or right in here, but usually not. So if you come over here, we have our parapets or whatever the heck they're called. And as you can see, they do have a front and back with uh, some different colorings on some of them, um, depending on like what building materials you're using. Uh, in our case, we want this little corner piece. It snaps in there nicely. And now we have our piece here that meets up to it. Um, sometimes the corner pieces meet up nicer, sometimes they don't. So what we can actually do is uh, get rid of this guy here and get rid of that one. And as you saw, we actually had a right angle piece here. Now, these aren't matching up because we have that little guy interfering. And there we go. So now that matches up here, but as you can see over here, it's off a little bit. So what I do is get rid of that little guy, pick that one up, and boom, you can slide it right over. Now sometimes you can interact with these pieces perfectly like that, sometimes you can't. Um, in our case, we got that little extra guy right there that we don't need. And let's go back over to the big one. And we're just going to assume that uh, this little decorative thing went around the entire building here. And bring this over here. Um, let's see if we can get this in. There we go. But we don't want that here. We want a nice little corner piece. So let's go ahead and bring that over. And bring that to there. And as you can see, we have this little bit of mismatch here. It's the type of thing that you're going to have to play with a little bit here and there. Um, it's not always going to line up perfectly for you. So usually what I'll do is I will go in and get like 90% of all this trim put into place and then see where I can make adjustments to actually make this look um, the way I want it to. So if we put that in there, and we'll come back over here and finish repairing this uh, roof just because. So let's go ahead and get rid of all these uh, extra pieces here that we do not need. And see if we can get these to snap in the way we want them to. Probably not. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Uh, we have that wall which we don't need at the moment, so we'll go ahead and get rid of those. And there we go. Now that snaps into place, which means so does that one. And then we can continue on back in here. And now we don't necessarily have to uh, keep that angled piece there because of the way this all goes. So you're just going to kind of bounce in back and forth and just kind of throwing these things in here to, 
to make it work the way you want to. And as you can see that uh, this doesn't exactly line up perfectly, so let's do that. And let's get that one to snap in here. And we'll yank that guy over here, because actually they were overlapping on top of each other a little bit. Let's bring that one, uh, maybe, maybe not. So it's not going to be 100% perfect every single time you're doing this. It's the type of thing that you might have to play around with um, using a mod like uh, Place Everywhere to kind of pick these pieces up and slide them into place to make them line up the way you want to and, uh, and kind of go from there. And so that's what we're going to kind of do is just uh, find a way to finagle them into place. Sometimes these things will absolutely fit in here perfectly and other times you're going to end up with gaps simply because of things like this. Like they have uh, this wall here is kind of uh, messing things up for us. So let's go ahead and push the wrong button there. Let's uh, come back up here and now we can snap that into place and uh, so on and so forth. So you're always going to end up with uh, things here and there that aren't 100% perfect, that aren't always going to line up on you, but um, it's the type of thing that you just kind of play around with. Eventually you'll find some way to uh, to put them in here. So for example, for this, uh, let's see, this one I think is a little bit longer, so we might actually be able to take one of those out. And uh, Oh, nope, sorry, that's an angled piece. And uh, we do have these smaller ones. You can just snap a whole bunch of them in, and that'll end up closing up that gap for you right there. So now we have the rest of this section here. So we'll go ahead and take that one out. And uh, we do have this uh, unfortunate bottom piece here that's got to come out too. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to stay here in Shell Kit. And come back over here to our classic, get our brick going. And uh, see if we can get these guys to, there we go, line up nice and neat there. And again, unfortunately we have this corner piece which uh, is no good. So let's go ahead and throw this one in here. And uh, let's see what we got. There we go. And now we need to uh, fix that corner. So we're going to come back over here. And we're going to grab this corner. Not that one. There we go. That guy right there. And let's see. Did we fix this corner? Uh, we didn't really need to. That one is good. And we have the missing sections of wall right there, which uh, we can't really get to just yet. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little section of roof. And snap it into place just like that so that we can get some working space up in here. And so now we have a nice little working space. And, uh, to get up here we of course need some floor. So uh, we're going to stay here back in shell kit I think for now. Or actually no, let's go ahead and go back into our interior building kit, our wood section, get our matching wood floor. There we go. And now we can go ahead and put together all these missing walls that uh, we don't have. So again, we're going to stay in uh, back over here to shell kit. Go back over to our classic. And in my case, I'm just making these all windowed walls uh, just because, why not? So we'll go ahead and take that one out, even though that one was the way it was. And there we go. Now we have this whole section uh, built up. So now if you notice, this is all like uh, torn looking. Uh, if we come back over here to our roof section, there's actually uh, two different... Uh, let's come out here so you can actually see what we got. We got this one that has the torn section, then we actually have a nice clean one. So if you want to make this look a lot better, um, you can put all clean sections in here. And now to keep with uh, our little design thing, we're going to go ahead and put these up in here so we can get a nice uh, clean look back over here put that in place and snap that one in place now if we come down here and take a quick look uh, for the most part the entire front of the building is looking much much nicer except for that little section right there where uh, they don't quite uh, line up perfectly but that's the type of thing that we can quite easily fix by coming on up here and see now we got that gap right there. So one thing you can do is yank that guy over there and bring those in here. Or you can actually take all this uh, out of here all together. And that's where uh, those little corner pieces will come in handy. So we'll go ahead and take that out and take our little corner piece and 
Snap him into here. And so now we have a nice little finished corner piece on that edge. Come back over here and do the same exact thing over here. Line that up. Now we have that nice little corner edge. We're going to drop down in here. And don't mind me if I'm moving quite fast. Uh, you can go as fast or as slow as you possibly want when doing this, because that's completely up to you and your building abilities. Now, you don't have to use uh, the classic shell kit like I'm doing. You can throw whatever you want in here. Like, we have a bathhouse in here that has that same orange brick, and if you want to spruce this up a little bit, these pieces uh, will snap in just the same. If we can get this guy over here to cooperate. There we go. And uh, you can actually make this a uh, whole new design if you want to. Uh, that's completely up to you. And we also have this section right here where the brick is uh, quite worn if you wanted to take that out. And let's say we want to throw uh, some nice big church window in here. We can do that. And uh, spruce it up. And now we've got the whole front of the building all nice and purdy. Oh, let's go fix these windows here real fast. Just because, like I said, my uh, OCD is uh, going to bug me. Let's get rid of that little bit of wood. We don't need that. And uh, let's see. Maybe we want to throw one of these guys in here. It's, it's really totally up to you. Um... That's uh, the beauty of artistic interpretation. You can do this however you want. And throw that guy up there. And eh, that's not going to work, so let's go ahead and send you out there. And boom. We got you in place, but uh, you look a little funky, so let's see if we can get you to line up better. Uh, looks like we had a little bit of uh, an indentation, or is that... No, that's just the shadow. That's just the shadow playing playing games on me. So let's go ahead and throw a little one up there, which we can't reach, so let's do that. And, of course, now we have that corner, so let's go ahead and fix that. Send you outward. Actually, let's fix... There we go. Now we'll send you out so that we can plop you in place. And there we go. Now, just to make this uh, a little more symmetrical, because I'm sure this is probably bugging some of you guys. Let's uh, come back over here, get our little standard windows. There's one. Send you out. And there's number two. And come back over here, grab our little corner piece. And boom! There we go. There's the whole front of the building with a little bit of extra pizzazz all done up and nice and whatnot. Um, you can even find pieces like these guys, stairs, uh, we have the railings and whatnot. There's so much stuff uh, in Snappy House Kit as well as other mods in order to find things to replace that. Um, you know, if we come all the way over here into uh, Snappy Builds and Landscaping, we have uh, retaining walls. So you can see we can match these walls if we wanted to to, uh, to kind of do something. There's even sections available that have grass to them and whatnot, which... Uh, we don't need any of that. And then we also have uh, some wrought iron fencing and uh, all kinds of different fun stuff. Now, I had mentioned before about fixing uh, up these walls on the inside so that you don't have to... Um, let's get rid of all this junk so we have a nice clean section to work with. Uh, yes, fixing up these walls so that you don't have to rip apart the entire building in order to make the inside uh, much nicer looking. Sorry, I go a little crazy with the scrapping here. So, we're going to stay here in Snappy Builds, and we're going to come over here to Wallpapers. Now, Wallpapers is fantastic. I absolutely love this because it offers so much stuff, uh, not just wallpaper, um, but actual, like, finishes. Like, we can do... Uh, we've got wallpapers here. Here's the crappy wall that we're looking at right now, as well as nice uh, wood finishes. So, if you come over here... You can snap that right into place, and we can fix up the entire place here. Now, we also have sections for uh, windows. So that is just a solid wall section here. We have uh, different sizes, so this is like a half wall. And then we have a little quarter wall here. And we have doorways. So if we come in here, we want to find a doorway wallpaper. And we snap that in place. So if we wanted to do a whole red wallpaper in this whole place, you can do just that. Uh, and like I said, it's not just wallpaper. You have wood, uh, there's funky finishes, metal, um, there's even tile, as you can see here, so that if we wanted to change this into a tiled bathroom, we can go ahead and take that wallpaper off, and we can tile the whole inside of the place. So this will save you a ton of time of not having to rip apart the entire thing and then put them all back into place and fight with the, um, you know, the snapping uh, dynamics of... Uh, 
this Bethesda game in order to try and make things look nice. Um, you know, the wallpaper is usually pretty easy to put in place. And it's not going to let you put the wrong one in the wrong place. Uh, same thing with windows here so that you don't accidentally do something. So if we want to, like, do this door here, as you can see now, that one will snap in place because this is the proper one. Um, can be actually a little bit of a pain in the butt sometimes trying to find uh, these windows. Because um, sometimes they're just not uh, where you'd expect them to be. So let's say something like that. Uh, we can try to find that in the shell kit and see how long it uh, takes me to find the exact one we're looking for. Actually, there we go. And so you can go ahead and do that. So it can be a little time consuming sometimes because you're going to have to bounce around back and forth between uh, one and the other to try and get these all to match up. And uh, if you were paying attention in the menus there, we also have exterior. Um, sometimes you can actually snap the interiors and exteriors in and out. Sometimes uh, it'll let you do that. Sometimes it won't. Um, so if we come back out here, we actually have an entire exterior section and you have all these different stone finishes. Uh, if you watched my Simpsons uh, settlement build video, this is how I ended up getting the whole outside of the Simpsons house in like a kind of pinkish hue. Um, I used this one right here. I think that's the right color. Yep, that one right there. So now we could actually change the whole outside of this entire building into uh, wood finish if we wanted to. So the, the possibilities are endless and as I just scrapped my wall there by accident. Uh, it happens. So if you get worried about something like that, don't worry. You can always fix it because we are in snappy builds. We can go right back over to Shell Kit, come back over here to the Classic, and uh, throw that wall back into place. And, uh, there we go. And there you go. That is how you put together an entire building and start rebuilding the waste to uh, make everything look pretty, basically. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and do the whole interior of this place because... Uh, you know, once you've seen one part, you've seen it all, but that should help get you all started on building this type of thing. Um, you know, you have stairwells here. Let's uh, see, we could actually continue our stairwell here if we wanted to. We can take out this little section of floor and put in another section of stairs right there. Um, we do have all kinds of stair kits uh, here in Snappy Builds as well. Uh, let's see, we can go right over to here and find some standard in-house ones, which uh, those aren't going to work. But you can also use something like this guy right here if you wanted to change the whole stairwells out, which uh, I have done numerous times. Um, one of the builds that I just finished, um, I was rebuilding a... Uh, what do I want to call it? Um, yeah, I can't remember the name of it. Total brain fart moment. Um... A uh, Coast Guard house. There you go. And uh, it initially started with uh, stairwells like this. And they're, they're okay, but I felt like I wanted to put something a little bit nicer into it. So I came into uh, Snappy Builds here and I picked up stairwells just like this guy right here. And I got rid of my little section of floor. Let's see if I can get this guy to snap into place. Probably not. Yeah, in the wrong place. Uh, oh, there we go. So, now we have our little stairwell. If we come over here, we actually have railings, and we actually have matching railings for this. So this is our half stairs, zero, two. So if we come in here, eventually we will find half stairs, zero, one, left and right, half stairs, zero, two, left and right section. And uh, these can actually be a little bit of a pain sometimes to snap in place. So we had the left side, and eventually we can maybe get the right side over here if we can get you to turn around properly. And There we go. So now we have a whole section of stairs here. Let's get rid of this uh, little bit of wall to just to make it look a little prettier. Now if you look down here at the very bottom, don't really have a, a nice finish there. So we're going to come back into our railings and we actually have these different settings right here. So now this comes in handy if we want to make this wrap completely round. As you can see... This one is kind of uh, L-shaped here, but that's not what I want right now. So we're going to come back in here. And boom, there we go. We have a nice little finished one here. And if we come up here, we can do the same thing up here. That one's not going to work, so if you snap on over to that guy, and boom, we now have uh, finished railings. And we can make a whole other third story up here, and uh, that could be our little access point. So there's really, you know, countless possibilities when you're trying to do this type of stuff. Um, to fix these buildings up, and it's really up to you what you want to do to uh, 
what direction you want to go, basically. Um, you could turn this all into a completely sealed off fortress and have no windows whatsoever. Uh, make the whole thing look like one big giant steel building if you feel like changing the whole thing out. Or just completely do it like I'm doing and start restoring it. So, now that we have done that, I want to do a quick save here. And I want to show you some things you have to be careful of with all these different uh, scrapping abilities. As I was saying, you can come in here and scrap entire sections of road here. And let me show you what happens when you do. Um, you're going to end up with all this uh, different floating debris. And as you can see now, we have that unfinished section of road underneath it because these sections of uh, road actually kind of just float in place. So, got to be really careful when you're scrapping things because you can really do a lot of uh, damage. So, make sure you save often and pay attention to what you are scrapping because you don't want to scrap the wrong thing and end up with an unsightly hole like this. Um, as you can see, we have a dead guy sitting right here that uh, is in kind of a funny position. And uh, you can actually go in and scrap Carl Everett. I am sorry, Carl, but you are out of here. So, and you can also get rid of things like mist. And now we have this barrel. Now one thing too to be careful with is if you get rid of things like this barrel or move it, if you look over here it's still kind of orange looking. Um, that's just because that's the way it came from the game and Bethesda put in that uh, ambient lighting and unfortunately things like that you cannot get rid of. Like even if you scrap the road here like there's no uh, hidden invisible object for that uh, ambient lighting. So you got to be careful when you do things like that. Uh, when you move things around um, or scrap them, that you could end up with, uh, you know, sections of light like that that don't fit into place anymore. Um, unfortunately, there are things like this that you cannot sometimes get rid of. Uh, you can see it says we're getting rid of concrete floor, but we cannot get rid of this entire giant. Uh, rubble pile because that is actual ground like what you see here um, it's not a facade so uh, just keep things like that in mind so if I were doing something like this um, I might do a repair to the building to uh, put it in place but I would not really make it accessible or into an area that uh, anybody might go into um, simply because of the way the ground is so I would just do like I said make a facade here to kind of um, make it blend in so that it looks better. So let's go ahead and get rid of that guy right there. Uh, do I have my snapping? No, nope, uh, it just doesn't want to snap. So we'll go ahead and that one will snap and that one will snap. And so I might put a building here in place, but I won't use it for anything. I'll just do it just to make the whole area look nice. Um, just because there's things like that you just simply cannot get rid of. Uh, lamps like this, unfortunately, no matter what you do with them, you can move them around, etc. They will never light up again, so you'll have to do your own lighting for things like that. But um, there you go. There's our little tutorial on how to repair a building. Like I said, you can't do it with every single one of them, but uh, there are a good section of them that you can. And I'll show you right here what happens if you get rid of that. Boom, you have a nice big wide open area. Um, this sometimes actually becomes beneficial to you so that... Uh, you can use this to build uh, your own building if you wanted to. Because now we have a set of stairs right here. Let's see if we can snap a floor to it. And we can. And so you can start repairing the waste in your own style and fashion if you wanted to. Just be careful though because sometimes there is things in here that uh, will get in your way and other times there isn't. So it's the type of thing that, uh, like I said, save often and have fun exploring. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you didn't, hit it anyway, just because uh, I'm a nice guy.